This is Caravan Salon 2020. This is the stand of Titan in the Equipment Hall. This is a company which started out manufacturing fans for desktop computers and for the last 12 years or so has been doing things for the RV market. So we're going to have a quick look around at some of the pieces of electronic equipment and one thing I do want to me mention to start off with is something I've had now in my van for three years, one of these uh, uh, rack fans. Uh, one of them can be used for the uh, refrigerator but the other one I use for cooling and uh, it, you fit that into the skylight and as I'm sitting at the table it sort of keeps me a bit cooler which I think is a good thing. doesn't make much noise at all, you hardly hear it. Indeed often I forget to turn it off, not makes any difference because it hardly uses any power. So there's, there's that. Now I'm going to come round here and show you the, uh, the star though of the show as far uh, as this stand is concerned. We have got here a new uh, inverter, so the size of the inverter has been reduced, so there's an old one which is 3 kilowatts and is now this small and it's not just the inverter, it includes the charger and the MPPT controller for the solar. So it's three in one see the size there's my hand and sit, compare that to the the former the former model so that I think uh, it's also a reduction in weight I do appreciate you might think oh they don't weigh much uh, yes that is true they don't weigh much but all reductions in weight are a good thing and here's something which is going to intelligent uh, touch control system not available yet but it will be soon and so here you can see for example uh, the usual sort of control panel how much water you got in the grey water and uh, battery power and all the other th sort of things that you have from your control panel which as a rule is above the door or near the door so you can turn on your 12 volt supply as you come into the room or into the van I should say and uh, okay there you've got LCD uh, systems as well similar to the intelligent touch control system but the intelligent touch control system does sort of look groovier this is an old system but I think this is particularly clever because uh, it's got various functions to it of which one is this thing here by which if you're on a campsite and your campsite limits the amount of power that it supplies which like for example 6 amps is quite common so 6 amps times 230 so that, that gives you uh, not a lot of power if you're going to turn on a kettle for example indeed it would turn the whole thing would blow you'd have to come out of the van in the pouring rain switch the fuse and then not like the, uh, put the kettle on again so in this case what it would do if you put it to the maximum which is permitted and so so we say six amps for argument's sake then if you put on a ca kettle you put the kettle on you may as well just use the gas but uh, for argument's sake if, uh, the, it, what it would do is it would then take the power required via the inverter from the battery and that would then, once it stopped uh, uh, boiling the water, uh, it would then go back to charging the battery up. And other things within the vehicle, which don't take that type of power, for example, the charger, for example, lights, that will c continue to come from the power source of the campsite. Um, I often actually had it when people saw uh, said to me, I've been at companies and they you know, connected me uh, to the, uh, the, the hookup in, in winter and I found I've actually used more than they have supplied. There was one place I was at, it was 500 watts, right, 2 amps, 
well even less than isn't it, than 500 I mean it's next next to nothing but anyway so that gives you an idea now one of the things of course you could have tried using would have been the um, a hair dryer that takes up more power than uh, would uh, come from for example a 5 amp power supply good so that gives you a little bit of an overview of what you can see here or what you could have seen here because by the time this gets published this event will be over so uh, thanks for watching and uh, for future reference for future years you've got lots of interesting things such as these lithium batteries which you can carry around with you uh, furniture you've got uh, bike racks you've got seats more furniture flamma and uh, air excel who do uh, can for example who are often mention in videos uh, about how nice their sinks look and of course here we've got titan with their fans and their other electrical solutions for the motorhome thanks for watching and all the best from Düsseldorf.